Thanks, Maddie and Lily. Last Friday, Yale's Chinese American Student Association enlivened the SSS building with CASA's Got Talent. This display of diverse talent showcased the many facets of Chinese culture for students from both inside and outside CASA. So CASA, the Chinese American Students Association, is to basically promote Chinese culture, um, I guess, throughout the campus. So not only Chinese students, but also um, non-Asian. Unlike other shows from the group's past, which presented acts without audience feedback, Casa's Got Talent let the spectators vote for their favorite performance. I think we wanted to get Yale's position, as in like the Yale student body, um, seeing like which, what kind of Chinese culture do they prefer. And the student judges provided lively commentary for each contestant. The dress is ghastly, the choreography, I think I've seen more expressivity and seizures. Um. We sort of like the models of other cultural shows where it's more audience participation. So we came up with this idea of a talent show. It started really early, um, but we started working on it in, in earnest probably around March. So I guess it's thought about a talent show and then naturally we wanted to come up with a catchy name. So we came up with Cause It's Got Talent. The presentation of Chinese culture and performance juxtaposed traditional versus new. But it wasn't the climactic showdown that it sounded like it would be. Instead, old and new combined on stage, forming a new way to look at Chinese and Chinese American culture. Familiar Chinese love songs shared the stage with boy band dance steps. And the irhu, the traditional stringed instrument, could be heard after the acoustic guitar. Although the show focused on Chinese culture, neither the performers nor their acts necessarily had to fit into that category. A belly dance at Yale, and another thing, interesting fact is that I actually started belly dancing in China. So I took a gap year um, between my sophomore and junior year and uh, went to China. When I got the email about the Chinese uh, cultural showcase, I'm like, well, this is kind of perfect. Um, you know, I, uh, I could like contribute to something that I've learned in China. And also, um, another thing is like, if you have noticed, a lot of the performers that are not Chinese. And so I think that, you know, the understanding of cultures does not just pertain to um, being Chinese, but also just uh, being open to different cultures in general. Act after act, the show brought the audience a glimpse into the students' many entertaining abilities. Well, they were all fantastic. Um, you know, you had a great variety as well. You had um, someone playing with the traditional Chinese yoga. Davis Nguyen, who is the president of the Beat Me Student Association, did a really cool lie detecting trick where he was actually reading body gestures um, to detect if the person is lying and through that he was able to guess what card the person picked up. But in the end, there could only be one winner. With his ability to tell if someone was lying just by looking at their facial twitches or vocal hesitancy, Davis Nguyen won the viewers' favor. After seeing all the other amazing acts go on, I was like, wow, I have to follow up. My heart was beating, I was nervous, was all this tension. I was like, oh man, I just wanted to be over with. But as soon as I took on the stage, I felt so comfortable. And people were just shouting, I love you. I was like, oh. Casa's Got Talent has proven how collaborative and fun it can be to delve into another culture. So, if you have a skill that you would like to share, don't be shy. Visit YaleCasa.com and see what the group has in store for next year's cultural showcase. This has been Patrice Bowman reporting for YTV. Back to you in the studio.